Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. And we, we do that every week with a new channel from a celebrity in the afterlife or a famous well-known person. And the reason why we interview famous well-known people is because they give great advice. They have wonderful reflections about what it's like to be a person. And so today I have a special treat for you and it's very timely. We will be chatting with Martin Luther King Jr. in the afterlife. So let's connect in and remember part of the goal of these videos and the channeling process is to have you feel. So I invite you to feel in with me and to feel the energy of the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. in the afterlife. And then on your own, feel free to do your own meditations or use a journal and ask your own questions. Allow yourself to connect with him and continue a dialogue conversation that is meaningful to you personally. You can ask the questions. You can be the channel as well. So I already connected in with uh, Martin Luther King Jr. in the afterlife. And I kind of want to say Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. And I know that's respectful, but um, he told me that I can call him Martin as well. So I'm going to call him Martin. And I see him with his sleeves rolled up, hard at work, a dress shirt, a tie, but it's loose around the neck. I can see the t-shirt a little bit sticking out, the white t-shirt, white shirt. Um, and the tie has kind of horizontal stripes. You see him with black pants and his, again, his arms, um, the sleeves are cuffed up and he's leaning over the side of like a little railing, kind of like a, um, it's a, like a metal railing. Um, it looks kind of white or ivory. You just kind of lean in there, you know, thinking, talking. Um, I'm feeling like I am, I know that um, you died, you were, that you were assassinated and you were murdered at um, a hotel and I think it was in Memphis. I know it was around those, that kind of part of the country. And my brain, you guys, it's hard to recall. It's hard, I know it might be hard for some of you to believe, but I, it's hard to remember things with the mind when you're in a <laughs> spirit channel. It's all about the energy, all about the energy. And so the details, mm, fill them in below. If you really wanna do that in the comments, just go to town. Mm -hmm. He just kind of smiled at me like, mm -hmm. um, there's some distinguishing characteristics of Martin as I see him kind of leaning over the side of this railing. His cheeks are very pronounced, like the apples of his cheeks, they're like, um, I don't know if rosy is the right word, but they're like shiny. They have a shine to them, like a sheen, and I'm noticing it. And his lips are kind of pursed together. It's kind of like a resting smile. A, pondering smile and um, he's in thought he's thinking while I'm going to interview him I'm going to talk to him and so Martin can you share with us so I'm seeing this I'm describing what I'm seeing and it sure feels like um, the exit point for you when you are um, just about to leave the human experience is that true is that where we're at yes he says yes and so what is the significance? Why are you showing us that and having me describe that? Because that's not usually my, that's not like my go-to place when I talk to spirits, <laughs> you know? Um, although that might be popular with viewers, that's not really where I like to focus, but there's gotta be significance. What is the significance, Martin, of this? Life is precious. It's short and I, I'd hope that you all would remember that life is short and it's precious. There's far too much given to you to have you be wasting it. There is so much more to do, so much more to see, so much more to experience. When you have a body, that's the time when you should be doing it. And it would be right for me to say to you to focus on what it is that you are intended to be doing. You are intended and created 
to get some things done. Now, I know there's a lot of action-oriented type folks out there that will be listening to this, and they might mistake my words as call to action, rise to fight and to become powerful in the rise and the action is where you become powerful. But what precedes the action is the thought and the thought must be provided. No, he says, doesn't say provided. He said, must be the providence. The thought must be the providence through which the action is made. And only when the action is pure in its truest form of connection, the content of the thought is what creates the experience. And that is the legacy that you are here to create. And when you leave the earth, as I have done, I can tell you that you will have regret. And it's not for the things you've been doing. It's for the things you have neglected to realize. And that realization is not simply through acting. Action, while it is needed to create that which you are attempting to create, it is not the first and foremost platform platform for success it is first the thought that is the providence and the thought will deliver all that is good all that it is pure all that is intended to be created by you and you alone first with the thought. So the thought provokes the action. And so the thought must be pure. And by pure, I do not mean good, goodness, and only the good, but that you must be selective and use your discernment and focus on the integrity of the thoughts that you are receiving, that you are making in your own mind the observations, the history, the historical context is the lens that provides you with these thoughts. And through the experiences that you have, these thoughts then create a pattern of belief and it is what you believe in that constitutes the reality of the actions that you yourself will make. And so the truest power is in the education of the mind and not in the intellect, but in the transformation of that which is the ego-minded reality, the boastful vision of oneself. When you set that aside, only then, only then can the truth be known. And when you lead your thought through integrity and in the knowing that you are being guided by the force inside of you that is God, the power, the source of all living spiritual beings, it is in this context that you will create the world in which you vision, the world of peace, the world of unity. That does not mean that there will be the absence of violence, of, of conflict, of war, but the, the powerful shift will come when you stop fighting within yourself and allow your spirit to be free. And in the thought, allowing the mind to engage in the freedom that only can be known and realized by the soul.
And that is who you are. And that is when you make a contribution. That is when you leave a legacy in your society, within your own family, within your own community. But your heart, the heart of you, is your compass. And those feelings will help be the judge to guide your mind through the valley of the dark thoughts and the not so good, perhaps the negative. But those will have no power when the thoughts are in integrity, in the alignment of the light of the soul. And that is where you will find your truest happiness. That is where you will find success. And when you do make that connection, you will know. You will know. And by way of that, by way of you, the entire world can change. And I believe it can. One single person, one individual can change things for generations to come. One person. And it is not the significance of the action they take. It is for the significance of the belief in the pure in the pure domain that is in the unity of the mind and the soul. That is what guides you. That is what truly guides you. Make no mistake about it. The unity within you is what will determine and define your success. It truly will. Thank you and thanks be to God. Almighty. Almighty God. Almighty. Much gratitude. Gratitude. There's a lot of energy here coming out of the heart. <sighs> Breathe with me. Everyone that's watching or listening, just Breathe in the heart space because there's a, a levity to the energy. And there's a shift in through the nose, through the mouth. Martin Luther King Jr. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, I'm on a stool here and I'm getting a little bit dizzy here. Grounding the energy. The thoughts are shifting the pattern of our belief systems and the alignment for who we are as a society and as unique individuals is definitely present here. You are invited to be in this energy space right now. As the mind is being cleared and shifted, I'm just gonna move my neck a little bit to help the energy flow smoothly and freely. I'm gonna ask for a grounding, so I want to imagine the bottoms of our feet just really connected into the earth as we're receiving the energy as you feel right now in the heart space. Feel in the heart Martin Luther King Jr. from the afterlife. Feel Martin's energy coming into you, and yes, you can call him Martin. It is not a sign of disrespect. In fact, it is a sign of friendship. It is a sign of pure connection. So breathe in that. Exhale it out and allow the energy to go all the way down through the feet, through the core of your body and into the feet and out to the earth. And I'm gonna just kind of shake the energy out my hands right now, squeezing my fists really tight just to kind of allow any tension in the body to just come to the end of my fingers so that I can just go like this to the earth because that's what I'll do. And bring the energy through the heart and out to the hands and just, and then just shake it to the earth, just shake it to the earth. Feeling the energy vibration and the positive vibrational energy of the essence of, of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Feeling the power of the light of the energy of the legacy of his humanity and the role that he played on the earth. The peaceful presence and the encouragement, the inspiration that he brings. The energy of his voice, his words, his wisdom, but knowing, knowing that within each and every one of us, we have this power as an individual as he spoke of. 
What a beautiful, beautiful dialogue. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. And thank you, Martin. He says, Martin. Thank you, Martin. I want to ask you so much. I want to ask you more things, but I'm, I, I can't, it feels the energy is what is more important. So what I would do is I would turn to you at Above Life Channel, those who are watching this, and I would invite you to spend some time in the energy space of this message, of the context of this message. Go back and re-listen. Put your earbuds in, your headphones on, and just listen to the words. Allow the words to resonate within you. Imagine that they're coming into the mind and trickling down into the center core of your body using your spinal column as a tube of light that allows the words to become droplets of energy, of medicine, of alchemy, to help you fully receive the message from Martin Luther King Jr. in the afterlife for you what resonates for you accept the gifts of the messages of the words that he has shared and give yourself permission to do that fully and completely allow your energy your energy being to receive to be part of this process fully fully receive and then if you'd like if you're a type that likes to write and processes through the mind, words are a wonderful way to connect the mind and the heart and the soul and the energy of everything, to just reunite all of this energy. Get out your journal and listen to the audio yet again or watch the video yet again and hear the words that stand out to you, the phrases that are meaningful to you and write those down. And then come back and use those as prompts for the days to come. For the future for you to get you focused in your mind on positive thoughts and thoughts that align with what is success and happiness and fulfillment of life for you for that is part of the message here that is key what you do with this message is up to you so this is Bridget with Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for listening to this incredible afterlife message from Reverend Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in the afterlife. Remember the purpose of our weekly channeling conversations is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. The purpose here is for you, you to live your life. Remember, it is your life. <laughs> this is your life. What you do with it is yours. So live it, just live it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone that would love to be inspired by this and particularly is open to the energy, the receiving the energy of this message because that is where you're gonna get the abundance of it, share it with them. Thank you so much for watching.